Week one's coming up against the uh, against the division rivals, Green Bay Packers. Yep. There's nothing like Bears Packers week one. Um, you know the emotions are so high and the anticipation so high. I know everybody's ready for this game, including me and you. Um, so let's go over a little bit of a prediction, huh? Let's start with the passing game for each team. And let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I'd love to s- hear how you feel about it too. But I'm, I'm rewatching the whole season from last year, and I'm I'm just trying to be as, as objective as possible. And because there's so little on Jordan Love, I feel like it's hard to predict what he can do. Um, a lot of what he can do is going to be ba- based off of what the Packers are as a team, and even going from last year, they were a run-heavy team with a solid offensive line. Not great, but solid. They should be better now that they're healthy at the beginning of the season. And their receivers, the same way we have to assume there's natural progression in young players from the Bears, we have to assume natural progression from the Packers. So what I expect from the Packers in the passing game is a lot of play action, a lot of slants, and giving the ball to receivers and playmakers in space and letting them do what they do you know we can make fun of Jordan Love all we want about training camp videos and all that stuff I think he's quite comfortable in the system and I think he's had an opportunity to be in Matt LaFleur's offense and I think he can perform it this is all speculation because we haven't seen it but I think at at worst what we can expect is a 50% completion and 200 yard game from Jordan Love um, do you think Fields throws for over 200 yards? I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, I trust Justin Fields to do what he needs to do to drag the corpse of the Chicago Bears across the finish line. But, man, like, that guy is so special. I don't like to play the middle. I'd rather be more opinionated than than just playing the, the fence. I think that is Jordan Love. I, I don't think he's special. I don't think he's super unique. I think he is a two to one guy. He's going to throw two touchdowns. He's going to throw one interception. And I think the talent around him isn't exceptional yet. It could be. Christian Watson, uh, Romeo Dobbs could be really good. The new rookie tight ends could be good. But what I know they're really good at is Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon are going to absolutely just run all day long. And that's, you know. That's where we're going to see the passing game feed off the running game. And so I think from the passing game, uh, Green Bay, you can expect, you know, 200 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. On the flip side, I think the Bears, my concern is a lot of third and long situations. The offensive line should be improved and it's the number one rushing attack, but 1,100 yards came from the quarterback position. So that can be a misleading number. And so unless you're banking on Justin Fields to bail you out on third and longs, which he did all the time last year, he was amazing at that. He bailed you out a lot. I just don't think it's something that's realistic to expect another year from or ask from him. This is the thing about this game, and I want to you know make this clear, is you're going to see a lot of... It's going to be a very hard-fought game. It's going to be a very these two teams know each other so i'm concerned about chicago being in third and long situations and making justin fields either scramble or do a deep bomb that gets risky where now you throw interceptions you may throw a a key third down interception because you're forcing the ball to dj Moore. you're forcing the ball to chase claypool yeah i mean regardless of like you said like regardless of how it happens i i don't care it could be the ugliest, sloppiest game from Chicago, and as long as they come out with a win, I'm happy. That's really, it's so important. My locked in prediction is I think Bears win 27 20 against the Packers. 